How's it going guys? JP here and welcome to day number 23 in my second annual 31 Days of Horror. First off, let me just say uh, I apologize for the quality of the review. I'm extremely tired right now. I'm really running on E. I was uh, kind of nodding out during the movie. Uh, I kept having to rewind it and I uh, really struggled to get through this one. Not because it's a bad movie, just simply because I'm extremely tired. And, uh, you know, I got to get up early tomorrow, so I'm really just trying to put this review out uh, before it, midnight, which is about less than an hour away. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, the film that I'm going to be reviewing today is a film that was sent to me by Moods, um, much like Suspiria yesterday. He sent me a few films, and I decided to finally get around to watching some of them. Uh, so big shout out to Moods, channel link below. I know I forgot to mention him yesterday, so... You know, check out his channel. Uh, the film that I'm going to be reviewing today is Girls' Night Out from the year 1982 with the tagline of The next time you go to a fancy dress party, check who's going with you. And uh, this film is a slasher film from the early 80s. We have, uh, it's kind of a whodunit, you know, a whodunit slasher film, which I personally love. I love whodunits. Um... This one's an uh, odd, interesting one because I've never heard of this one. Um, we have a group of college students who are on the campus of, you know, a school. There's a basketball team and they're they're winning their games. Everybody's all happy and they're out hanging out and partying in the first part of the film. You know, um, fooling around and stuff. And then we have a. Uh, a scavenger hunt that they're going to be doing the next day and uh you know we also have their mascot which is a bear a cheesy as hell looking bear um and uh the that that's basically the killer's identity is hidden by this bear costume it also has um steak knives uh used as Claws or you know Wolverine style Freddy Krueger um <laughs> thing, and uh, it's basically a slasher. You just have a group of characters and uh, they're trying to figure out you know who did it. And uh, we also have the um the security campus uh, the campus security officer who is um you know going through all the people and all the red herrings and trying to figure out who who the killer is. We also have a uh, a um. A killer by the name of like Dicky or something. I can't. Uh, he was um. He was like a. He's he's who they suspected is all along. Who he they they think he escaped from a mental hospital and stuff. I'll leave it up to you guys to figure out um, if he really did or if it uh, you know is something else. Um, but yeah, I mean it's it's basic slasher eighties early eighties slasher stuff here, but it's uh fun. It's very kind of surprising actually because I was not expecting this film to be. I know Mood said that he really liked it, but I, I honestly was going in with kind of low expectations, and uh, I actually really enjoyed it. it. It was pretty cool. If I wasn't so damn tired, I probably would have enjoyed it more. Um, it's it's definitely a slasher I'll probably revisit. It's it was honestly really surprising. It's I've never ever once heard anybody talk about this one. Um and I actually really like the ending too. Um it's uh it's it's a cool uh slasher. Uh, I would say that, you know, it could maybe use some like nudity and like better kills and more on screen kills because a lot of this stuff isn't really on screen. It's kinda the aftermath shots which really aren't uh, anything special anyway, so, uh, definitely some, uh, you know, c more creative and, and on-screen kills would have helped, and, uh, maybe a little less cheesy of a bear costume, <laughs> um, I mean, this thing is cheesy as hell, but anyway, that's about it for my review, guys, I don't really have much to say about this one, it's, it's a fun slasher, check it out, give this film a six and a half out of ten, so, uh, see you guys tomorrow, Apologize for this review, by the way, so see you guys then. Peace.